Today we are going to revisit the top forward gravity defying cake structure so that we can clear some of the issues that we raised last time. Hello and welcome to our channel. We are going to start by making a sketch of how we want our structure to look. For the bottom tier, we are going to use chocolate for the bottom part of that tier in particular for supporting the upper part of the cake. Let's melt the chocolate set in that shape and drill with a hot metal rod. So we're gonna shape Rice Krispie treats in the same manner using our baking tin. And for all our support uh, structure for all the tiers, we cut off part of the cake and replace it with whatever we are using for that particular tier. Yeah. We're going to be using three types the chocolate, rice crispy treats, and styrofoam. So last time we used uh, wheat puffs and they collapsed on us. So today we're going to try and use rice crispy treats and see how it goes. Crumb coating is next, and today we are crumb coating with white chocolate ganache. I didn't want to use fondant this time, so I had uh, tried the makeshift acetate sheet method to apply the final coat of ganache. Uh, I must say, uh, the things didn't work out very well. We have some issues to be solved, so we will revisit uh, this one at a later stage. And when the sides and top part of the cake are set, we turn it upside down and cut the other side. This one here is the tear that has styrofoam. We kept a thick skewer where we drilled our hole. The hole is inclined to the side depending on the side where we are going to apply it to the structure. We're going to use a 10 millimeter diameter threaded rod for our support. The cake sizes are five inches 7 inches, 6 inches, and 5 inches. Do secure your rod with hot glue after uh, screwing the nuts in. You will notice the consequences of not applying glue as we progress. So we cover our wooden board with fondant before we start sticking our tears. wrapping the metallic rod there for hygienic purposes. My rod is actually making some movements over there because I didn't apply the hot glue. The other part of each cake tier is supported by the bottom part that we used vis-a-vis -vis the styrofoam the chocolate, the rice crispy treats. Initially I wanted to support using the conduit pipes. I then decided to use the conduit pipe with nuts, washers and thick skewer. After applying our nuts, we clean up again. Okay. 
the recording they didn't quite show enough of the picture of what I wanted to show you but you can see there that is inclined to the side as we slide down the tier that's seven inches that is going to sit on uh, five inches it's going to sit on the washer this pipe here is going to sit a little bit under the ganache then the nuts and the washer will sit on top of that pipe the second tier is the one with rice crispy treats and the cling wrapping drill The six inches tier with styrofoam at the bottom. Top five inches tier is rice crispy treats. There you have it. The top forward gravity dividing structure. We record it for you. So measure your road in such a manner that the top part does not protrude like mine. Here I allowed it to protrude because I had an intention to turn it into a hanging cake. Initially, I wanted to just do the hanging part only, but then decided to do it the fit sitting part first so that we just clarify all the issues that needed to be clarified. And now that the rod is not uh, glued to the board, the removal of the bottom nut wasn't much of an issue. I had to loosen the bottom nut over the because the seven inches was slightly sitting on top of that five inch cake. Decorate is desired. Here we're just applying some wafer paper nameless flowers 